welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm rye and this is rye's reading corner and today we're gonna be taking a look at my bookshelves because i just completely redid them the other day so i'm gonna bring you along for a little bookshelf tour and this is Rise Reading Corner. If this is the first time you have seen my face, if you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please do so. It's super easy and it really helps my channel grow. So as you could tell by my thumbnail and my little introduction, um, I completely redid my bookshelves. So um, one night I couldn't sleep, my anxiety was bad. So I just took every book off my bookshelf and started reorganizing them. And it was a huge project. It took two complete days to like really get it done. But I'm super, super happy with them and it gives me some more room to keep adding books which, and that's something that I really need. Um, so I have attempted to do rainbow shelves and mix my TBR books with my red books which I don't know how I feel about it, but I really want to experiment with it. Um, so who knows how long this will last, so maybe we'll be doing another bookshelf tour soon, but the way they look is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to bring you along, show you what all my shelves look like, which you can kind of see in the background. I'm not going to pull out every single book, but I'll definitely point out certain books that maybe are my favorites or special edition of books. And yeah, so if there's anything that you see on these shelves that you're like, I need to get rid of, which there's a couple books that are on the line, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know if these books, um, which ones I should prioritize reading. I'll kind of maybe let you guys know which ones are read and not read, and we'll go from there. So grab a drink, grab a snack, because it's going to be a little bit, and enjoy my bookshelf tour. Okay, so we're going to start over here first. So as I kind of said, I did a rainbow shelves. Um, so we're going to start with my two shelves that are against my wall, like where my closet is, which is like over on this side. So we're going to go up. So up top, I did some of my favorite series. So the Red Queen series is one of my favorites. Um, so I have all of the series here. I do need to get, I have the glass sword and paperback. I do need to get that in a hardback. So that's something that I am looking for. I have an exclusive edition of the Red Queen, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to pull things out because these are like stacked perfectly. <laughs> And then I have my Heartstopper volumes, and then I also have the Brown Sisters trilogy by um, by Talia Hibbert, which I absolutely love, and I think those look really pretty next to the Heartstopper. So that's the top of the shelf. So, all right, we're gonna go down, and I start with my light pink. So, um, I'm really so a lot of these are um not, not red, unfortunately. This one I just got through Pango Books, which I've been wanting to read, so I'm super super excited for that one trying to put things back where they all go um and then i have a bunch of other pinks this one i had really trouble finding where to put it i don't know if i love it there but if someone else has another suggestion let me know um where i should put it this i put facing out because it's literally so gorgeous this is pumpkin by julie murphy i had this at a little independent bookstore while i was on vacation and it's a first signed edition i have this a little plant here with my rainbow and um i have all your perfect colleen hoover this book is super good and i feel like it's not discussed enough it is a ya sapphic story with a um basketball player and a cheerleader um they are enemies um and to fake dating to actual romance so we go from my lighter pinks and then we're gonna move on to my darker pinks and some of my reds before we go actually to the other pinks we're going to go to the top of the shelf. Sorry for the lighting changes weird. So here I have my Every Door Heartway, the Wayward Children series by Shawnee McGuire. I have um, Isabel Sterling, which I absolutely love. She's a local author. Um, I have several editions of The Coldest Touch. I have one that's just uh, signed. I have another one that's signed and dedicated to me. And then I have the um, Fairy Loot edition that was in the boxes. And then I have her two other series, uh, her other duology, These Witches Don't Burn, This Coming Won't Break. And These Witches Don't Burn is a signed copy. And then I have the Selection series, which is one of my favorite series. I can read them all over. I know that's not the best writing, but I just adore reading them. So that's why they're up there. All right, now we'll move on to my pinks and going into my reds over here. Um, the Heartbreak Bakery, that is a YA, so super queer book. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely loved it. The Charm Offense of another really awesome queer uh, book. And um, it has literally the best mental health rep I think I've ever actually read before. So I absolutely adore that one. I would highly suggest that you read that one. And then I go going into my reds, which honestly, a lot of these I haven't read. Um, the only ones I think in the reds that I've actually have read is The Holiday Swap and Nick and Noel's Christmas Playlist, which honestly, those were both just average books for me, but 
they were not bad. So yeah, that is my top shelf of my pinks, um, my reds. And now we're going to go down into more of the next row, which is reds going into oranges and going into yellows. All right, so I have this little like piggy bank um, that's red, so I put it on this shelf. Um, not my problem by um, Sierra Smith. I'm super excited to read this one. This is the author who wrote The Falling in Love Montage, which is one of my favorite books. Put that back there. Shadows Between Us, a great um, um, fantasy book that is a standalone um, with a really badass male, female male character which I absolutely love. I'm super excited to read some Jennifer Dugan this year. I have got two books by her. Um, and then Perfect on Paper by Sam Sophia Gonzalez. I've heard nothing but great things about that one. So I'm hoping to get to that one early in 2022. All right, so let's move on to my orange shelves over here, going into my yellows. The Dangerous Play is a YA book, I believe. Um, this is a book that, again, is by a local author. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I was able to get a signed edition of it. Um, I'm going to take it out right here so you guys can see. Yeah, so this is a signed copy from my local Barnes & Noble, since it is a local author, and I can't get it back in there. And this is another book I got for Christmas, if you saw my recent book haul. Um, um, my parents got this for Christmas. Again, this was signed and dedicated to me um, by a local author, so which is a really, really sweet. Then I start going into my yellows. I found trouble with putting Wear Home Before Dark goes because it's like a very strange color. Um, and I have a going into my yellows. This one I forgot to put in there, so I kind of just put it onto the side for right now. It's a speech that Lauren Graham did at like a college, and I'm really excited. It's a great book. It's one of those books that if you need to pick me up, is worth the read so that is as i'm dropping things so all right now that we go from my yellows we go down to my greens and some of my blues let's go down and look at my green ones here so i have this little plant that i just kind of threw here i'm really excited for root magic um this is a uh, middle grade book that i actually got at a secondhand bookstore so that was a plus these are like so jammed in here it's not even funny um in a holidays by christine learn i really liked this christmas story um the heron's games super excited to read this one i have really high hopes on this one i've heard some really good things on here and i just have a little green plant to match kind of the aesthetic on this shelf again more into my greens and we start to go into my blues i have just picked up jade city this is a um high fantasy adult very political really nervous but super excited to read this one like i said now we start going in to my blues sheets is literally the cutest graphic novel i love this one if you like graphic novels i would pick this one up if the shoe fits is a really underrated romance by julie murphy that came out this year recommend that one tonight today or today tonight tomorrow great ya romance by rachel and solomon highly recommend and then i have just like this little star it has like um safety pins in it or like for like a board it's kind of through the there. So that is my blues. And then we go down into more of my blue shelf. And I have this really cute little blue plant right here. Um, Shift by Angie Hoffman. I absolutely love this adult romance. I thought it was really, really well written. Then I have this face out. I haven't actually read it yet, so I don't know if I'm going to love it. But I think it's one of the prettiest covers of 2020. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a indie published romance that is so good. It was one of my favorite romance books of 2020 or 19, right? No, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Um, Hate to Love. Absolutely adored that one. Um, Instructions for Dancing. So good. It made me cry, actually, which I was not expecting. Under the Whispering Tree by TJ Klune. I'm really bummed I did not get to this one in 2021, but definitely I'm hoping to get to that very soon in 2022. All right, so if we move over here with the rest of my blues as I bring my ring light over here, um, Love Hypothesis, I feel like everyone's talked about that one to me. It lived up to the hype, absolutely loved it. I did stick out the House of the C by TJ Klune. Absolutely loved this book. It was everything I needed in 2021. Yeah, no, 2020, I actually read that one. Whoa, 2020. Um, I am super excited to get to Strange the Dreamer this year. Cannot wait. And I have this little glass. It has like a blue Alice in Wonderland thing. So I kind of popped it there. So that is 
some more of my blues. I had tons and tons of blue books, as you can tell. I mean, my blues started there and came down here. And then we have even more blues. Um, let's So I have the Inheritance Games, which again is the sequel to um, the Inheritance Games. So I better like it because I already bought it. <laughs> um, again, some more blues. I have another. Um, I want to try Jennifer L. Armantrout's YA series. So that's why I picked that one up. It was like a buy one, get one 50% off. This actually, I'm going to move over here. I have a whole shelf dedicated to Colleen Hoover. So I'm going to put that on that one. And uh, Written in the Stars, super excited sapphic romance I got for Christmas cannot wait to read that one and then we move into like my super super dark blues um little thieves I cannot wait to read this fantasy series or fantasy book I think the cover is again absolutely gorgeous on that one um flick in the dark I've heard some really good things about that one that is a um, adult thriller and yeah so these are my dark blue ones so again this shelf we start off with my pinks my go down to my reds, oranges, yellows, some greens, and blues. I really like how this shelf came out. Sorry, the filming is probably really shaky and the lighting's gonna be weird now. But yeah, so this is how this shelf came out, and I'm super, super excited about it. Okay, so over here, I do have a little bit more of the dark blues, and then I start to go into purples, um, and then I go into whites and grays. So at the top, again, I have my Lee Bardugo shelf, um, Six of Crows, one of my favorite books of all time. I have a couple special editions with some sprayed edges. I still need to read Rule of Wolves. I think I've been putting it off because I just don't want it to end. So I do need to get to that one soon. And then I have my Sarah J Mass shelf. So I have all of the new editions besides the Court of Thrones and Rose, which I do need to get, but I do have the original paperback. And I also have these original ones. I got them at my local U, uh, independent bookstore. And I just found the original hardback of A Court of Thrones and Roses. So I'm super excited to add that to my collection. And then I have a Crescent City, which I absolutely adore. So super excited about that. So let's go over to my purples. Of course, I had to stake out Mari and the Night Brothers because it is just an amazing book. Everyone needs to read it. Um, the Wild Ones I've not read yet, but again, the cover is literally so gorgeous that I had to display it on my bookshelf because I just think it deserves all of the hype in the world. Then we go down here. This is my first Brandon Sanderson book. I'm super excited to read it. It is the YA series. I would like to read more science fiction in um, 20... What is the word I'm even looking for? 2022? Yeah, 2022. So I am excited to get to that one. And this is my break between my like um, colors before I go into white. But I did forget to go over here and show you my other purples. So I have some random things here. Don't mind me. <laughs> but I have my Barnes Noble special edition of Little Women, which I have not actually read yet. Um, and then I have just this. I think it's from the Night Circus. It's like a uh, like um, cup thingy, whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about here. Just a little fake plant. I have um, the um, Sweater Beat Magic, which is maybe the Fairy Loot Edition. It has the beautiful purple sprayed edges. Um, Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas. I absolutely love this cover. And this little, like, teacup. I don't really know where I'm putting that one yet, but, you know, we're just going to go with the flow. So those are my purples, which I think came out really well. And we're going to come down to my white books. Okay, so now we're going to go with my white books. And I feel like the lighting is really strange, so I'm really sorry. So I have um, The Better Together, which I've heard a lot of mixed things, but I'm really excited to read it for myself. And then I have my little Stars Hollow, the gazebo, yeah, gazebo <laughs> that I absolutely love. So I have that right there. And we move on to my other white stuff. So I don't know why this is here. I'm going to throw that up here. Obviously, I'm still in the works. I have some Jenga pieces that I need to put away. I have these little cute salt and pepper shakers. I have The Passing Playbook by Isaac Fitzsimmons, which is one of my favorite books, and I feel like it's not talked about enough. It's about a boy who is transgender and trying to play soccer. Absolutely loved this book. 57 Plus is one of my favorite nonfiction books ever. Please, please, please read it. It does not read like nonfiction, which I think is why I like it so much. Um, this is The Cuckoo Land. I got this from a little free library, and I did not know that this was an arc. Okay, learning something new. One of my favorite series of all time is the program series by Suzanne um, Young. Um, I am missing some of the books because I let someone borrow them and they never returned them. And I was really sad. So I have bought a couple more to fill in the rest of my series, but I need, do need to finish them because it is my favorite. 
Okay, I have more white books. So I just got the Sad Ghost Club from Pango Books. I have this cute little tray that I used for my um, Jenga game. Um, I have this book, which was an indie published book. I read this Christmas that I absolutely adored. It is a male male romance, The Geek Who Saved Christmas by Annabeth Albert. Um, I got this off Pango Books, and I'm so excited because I cannot get this in the States. And it's me and my dad at the end of the rainbow um, by Benjamin Dean. Literally cannot wait to read that one. And I have a little candle. Um, so now I go into like my beiges, like off white, kind of different colors. And it goes over here. I have a round breaker by Victoria Avia, which I really need to read and get to. And yeah. So then I go into my gray books over here. I didn't, I will tell you why I have them separate from like my black books. Cause you're going to see, I have a bookshelf dedicated to just my black books and yeah so here we go I have a little wine glass and then my gray books continue down to here I have the cousins by Kim McManus which unfortunately was on my least favorite books of the year but I have all her other books so I want to just keep it just to keep it I have this little sign and then I have this quote mug that says kindness is that kindness does and that is by one of Ruth Ware's books and I have some of my bookmarks that I keep in there now I go into books that I wanted to keep as series that are some of my favorite series. So I have the Cruel Prince series that I wanted to keep together because that is one of my favorite with a Cruel um, Prince mug that I keep there. And yeah, so I have the From Blood and Ash series. And I also just have my Toby McSmith books because they're one of my favorite authors and I love uh, their books. So I have them kept separate. Now we're going to go down to here. And so obviously I have some more room right now for these books, which was my goal by doing the colored shelves. It has allowed me to have some more wiggle room. So that is why um, it looks kind of sparse, but I did that intentionally. So I have some of my City of Bone books, which I have not read. I got this City of Bones edition with gold sprayed edges. And look at the ends. Like, how gorgeous is that? Never even read the book, but we're going we're gonna to try um, I kept my Holly Jackson books together because, again, um, this is a trilogy. Loved. I have these out of order, but I love this one. Love this one. Made my worst books of the year. So, And I have the trilogy of the Crazy Rich Asians. So, again, here is my purples. More purple that go into whites. More whites, and then I make my beiges colors, and then my grays. So next, we're gonna go to this little shelf I have over here. I'm kind of walking strange because I am actually live right now for my first time ever with sprints, and I have my computer all set up. But so this is my witchy book section. I love witches. You probably hear my dog outside. Um, and so I wanted to keep all these books together. So I have my Hocus Pocus book with a little skull. The Year of the Witching was my favorite book of 2020. I have this cute little witchy tray. Then I have two copies of The Cemetery Boys because underneath the dust jackets, both of them are absolutely gorgeous. The Ravens by um, Morgan Cass and... I can't remember the names now, but <laughs> they're two different authors. Then the sequel just came out, The Monarchs. I've not read that yet. And I have this really pretty edition of tarot cards. All right, we're going to go down here. And this is my Kristen Hanna shelf. I love Kristen Hanna. So The Great Alone was one of my favorite books. I have two editions of that one. Firefly Lane, I just currently read. And it will be one of my favorite books of all time. Um, and it made me cry. <laughs> the Nightingale, I'll be reading soon. And I do have some hard cup as well. And then I have this little uh, Lorelai Gilmore coffee mug. And I absolutely adore um, these are some of my dark romances and my Sophie Lark shelf. I'm hoping to get all of Sophie Lark's books. I absolutely love her. I have Credence by Penelope Douglas, Tris Six Venom, and this is my Colleen Hoover. I don't love this right now. I'm planning on moving her books somewhere. I just didn't really know where to move them as right now. Um, but yeah, so I have, um, all of those books and I do have more actually to add to this shelf. So like I said, this will be moved somewhere. Just don't know quite yet where. All right. These are other trilogies and series I wanted to keep together. So I have Jen DeLuca's The Walmart. Um, I don't know what the actual name of the series is, but I just think those books are really pretty looking. So I kept them together. I have my Pages and Co series. I know I have one hardback and all paperback, but I just did, <laughs> which I don't like though. Then I have my Nevermore series um, by the Small Spaces series by Katherine Arden. Another Suzanne Young series. Um, I really like it, science fiction. I have my V.E. Schwab, Tunnel of Bones, and City of Ghosts. And then I have my special collector's editions of the um, Hunger Games. And then some just like random little books that I 
like American Girl books. So again, this is kind of like favorite series and series I would like to get together and then my witch's shelf. So I have one more shelf to show you and I'm, that I'm super excited about. So we're going to head over there next. Okay. This shelf is all black books. Like I am obsessed with this shelf and how it turned out. And so we're going to go through this shelf. So up top, I have just some hardbacks with my Edgar Allan Poe special edition sticking out because I absolutely love Edgar Allan Poe. So I needed to display that. We come down here, I just have like this like black clips and so I have them there. I do have the new Karen McManus book, which I hope I really like. <laughs> I have Blackout, which is a short story collection, which I absolutely love. And it's one of the most gorgeous covers ever. If you see the inside literally gorgeous um in the ravenous stark i'm super excited to read this year and i just have this little box and it has a necklace in it but i just kind of like the box so i put it there so if you go down these are all paperbacks um i just got this from a book box that i'm super excited to read about it's a curse of ash which i think is witchy so eventually we'll go on my witch's self i absolutely had to obviously display the seven husbands of evelyn hugo absolutely adore the book it was my second favorite book of the last year bunch of Ruth Ware books and I bought this from Waterstones Rainbow Gray I listened to this audio it is literally the cutest thing ever unfortunately I couldn't order the sprayed edges so I had to buy the original copy but the sequel will be coming to me from Waterstones as well so I'm so excited as they're like falling over all right next we move into more hard cover books I have the maidens and I really think I just should unhaul it if I should unhaul the maidens please let me know I don't know if I should or not um I do have House of Hollow which by Kristen Sutherland absolutely great book really creepy I highly suggest if you didn't read it last year to pick this one up then we go into more paperbacks but I do have one hardback here this book is absolutely gorgeous um I do have my throne of glass by Sarah Mass, which is a little bit more gray than black so I might end up eventually moving that the night circus which I'm super excited to get to this year I just bought this at Barnes and Noble and I've been wanting to do this book for ages so I'm really excited to get to that one and then I have a black candle and then my last shelf, I'm really sure the lighting is terrible here. So I have some graphic novels, Black Sun. I'm super, super excited to get to. I hope I like it. And I have a bunch of some science fiction on here, which like I said, I want to read more of some science fiction this year and some fantasy. So yeah, this shelf came out really, really good. I'm super excited how it came out. I love the sleekness of all the black shelves. So yeah. I'm hoping to be filming from some different angles now because I'm really loving my shelf. So you may see different shelves in different shots. So those are my bookcases. All right. So I hope you enjoyed my bookshelf tour. I'm really happy with how they're coming out. Definitely there's a couple things that are a work in progress. Some of the decorated, like the decorative stuff. I'm going to just kind of move and maneuver it around if I still want them in my shelves or not. Um, so yeah, it's a work in progress. Um, let me know how you organize your bookshelves because maybe I'll try out a different couple of, couple ways this year and see which works best for me. I love watching reorganization videos. So if you ever have those on your channel, let me know. Co drop them in the comments below. I want to check them out. So yeah yeah thanks for looking at all my beautiful bookshelves i'm so excited like this is my pride and joy my bookshelves are in my bedroom which is sometimes why it made it hard to film on certain angles and it's pretty much become instead of a bedroom with most of my bookshelves like in it it's pretty much become a library with just my bed in it like i've really switched it around so i don't know if that makes sense but in my head it does so yeah um if you want to take this crazy journey with me please make sure you press the subscribe button if you want to be my friend on any of my other social media platforms i'm on tiktok twitter and instagram all the information is linked down below so stay kind of loves and i'll see you next time bye